we can use MIDI effect racks to alter incoming MIDI signal in all kinds of very interesting ways to create unique musical ideas within Ableton. Going to the B3PO channel here, I'll turn the chord off by moving the shift one to zero, and I'll create a new MIDI pattern. This will just have a series of 16th notes with a groove applied to it. Let's take a listen. First of all, simply select the chord plugin and Command G to group it to a MIDI effect rack. You could also alternately delete the chord and in our live device browser, simply drag the MIDI effect rack on the chain before the simpler. So now I'll take a random and a scale as we looked at earlier. Let's create a C minor scale here and put it in the key of A. Or G rather. Now let's take these both and copy them to a new chain. On this top one, I'll set the random mode to add additive with a scale of 2. And I'll set the bottom one to subtractive, also with a scale of 2. Now let's increase their chance. And you'll hear the original sine wave is still playing at the original note. Because it's on a separate chain and instrument rack that has no MIDI plugins on it. So what we've achieved now, instead of a chord plugin, is a randomized counterpoint that stays in scale no matter what. We can now add a chord to one of these two chains in the MIDI effect rack. Be useful to increase the choices at this point to give more opportunities for different note selections. Finally, I'll put one last copy of this random and C minor chord on the same MIDI effect rack. This one will be in buy mode. Now, let's take the MIDI note length and apply it to the entire chain by placing it outside the chain, between the chain and the simpler. Now the MIDI effect track has its own set of macros. I'm going to go ahead and assign the scale of each one of these chains to the first macro. And then I'll assign the chance to the second macro. Now you can see how it might be useful to use map mode to alter the minimum maximum value of the scale for each chain.
The MIDI effect rack can also be determined by key zones, velocity zones, and a chain selector, just as instrument racks can, ensuring that only certain MIDI effects come in on certain keys at certain velocities or when a particular chain is selected. As you can see, MIDI effect racks are very powerful tools for generating all kinds of musical ideas in addition with Ableton's included MIDI effects.